I would say, uh, man, that's tough. Uh, what questions? I would ask, you know, the main one that comes to mind is just, you know, who are who are your inspirations or who who was foundational in helping you to get started on your path and and who who uh who can you give credit to that helped you along the way and got you started and you know inspired you to do whatever it is that you do. Uh, that's a long list. I mean, uh if you've been around as long as I have, you um and you're as curious as I am you subject yourself to a lot and, um, you know, it goes across the spectrum from musical artists like the Ink Spots and the sensational Alex Harvey band and to filmmakers like Alejandro Jordawoski and, uh, oh my gosh, um, Stephen Sayadin, uh, who turned out to, now be a fan of mine too. That's a that's a special treat when that happens. Um, visual artists, Jean Michel Basquiat. You know, I, I I love his messy street style. I like his lines. I like Keith Haring's lines. I I really um, I I was drawn to the surrealists at a very young age. Um. um that's filled me with wonder and sort of made a lot of uh, impact on my er early band, uh, the Boneman of Barumba. It's in it's in some of those videos. You know, you can see my my attempts at embracing my surrealist brothers. Um. So yeah, it's a broad spectrum, and then that's not even getting into the literary uh, aspects of. Pablo Neruda, and let me see who else is around me here. Um, James Joyce and Alan Watts, William Blake and Arthur Rimbaud and Walt Whitman and, and a few hundred beat poets as well. But um, it all fills my well and then it stews in that well. And then I draw it out in sections. And, you know, sometimes you draw it out and it just comes apart like liquid. And other times it, you know, oh, I see something here. And, and then uh, you, you make something, you know, it's, sometimes it's a collage. Sometimes it's physical, you know, a sculpture or a painting. I haven't painted or sculpted in a while, but um, I, I enjoyed doing it years ago and I, th I always thought I would do it again when um, I felt like the musical pipeline dry up. I don't know why one has to stop and one has to start. I don't know why that is. It, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> but awesome. yeah, I'm a, big, I'm a big believer in that just fill the well, disgorge the well sort of theory, you know? And um, I, it's always a matter of having enough patience when you're filling the well, because you know, because you you've just usually disgorged the whole mass into some project or two, three projects or something, and then you're like, oh, you're eager to start again, and you know, the well's not full. The well needs to be full. So you're like, okay, well, and really, you you can't just turn on a faucet. You just have to live. And living, you know, the governor of that, sometimes it's gushing in there and other times it's just a trickle. Yeah. But then it, it invariably fills up again. 